Another method you can use to find the greatest common factor is what I like to call the grid method, or you might even think of it as the tic-tac-toe method. So when we're trying to find the greatest common factor of two numbers, we already established that we could use the factor rainbow to find the greatest common factor. The only problem with that is when you're looking for the greatest common factor for large numbers, it can be really easy to miss some of the factor pairs. So we're going to look at a different way. For this one, we're going to find the greatest common factor of 12 and 24. And we're going to start by drawing our grid, or some of you like to call it the tic-tac-toe board. And we're going to insert our numbers in the first row of the grid, 12 and 24. Your first job is to find a factor that both 12 and 24 share. For example, I know that because both 12 and 24 are even, two is going to be a factor of both of these numbers. If you're not sure, you can divide 12 and 24, try dividing them both by two and see if you get a whole number. If your answer is a whole number, it's divisible by two, okay? You could keep trying numbers that way if you'd like. So I know that two is a factor of both 12 and 24. 2 times 6 is 12, so I'm going to put my 6 here. And 2 times 12 is 24, so the 12 will go there. Next, I'm going to say to myself, okay, so I know that 2 times 6 is 12 and 2 times 12 is 24, but now that I'm left with 6 and 12 on this bottom row, do 6 and 12 share any factors? Well, of course they do. I know, again, that they share a factor of 2. So I say 2 times what gives me 6? Well, 2 times 3 is 6. And in this one, 2 times what gives me 12? Well, 2 times 6 is 12. I see still that 3 and 6 share a factor. They're not yet relatively prime. So I'm going to draw another line in my box. And I know that a, a common factor of 3 and 6 is 3. 3 times 1 is 3, and 3 times 2 is 6. Now that I've reached the bottom, I have 1 and 2. 1 and 2 share no factors besides 1. And when if two numbers share only the factor of 1, we say that they're relatively prime. So they only share 1. And I know that I can finish filling out my, my um, grid. I'm done. So now in order to find the greatest common factor, I circle these numbers over here. They're factors that we pulled out of 12 and 24, and I will multiply them. I know that 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 times 3 is 12. You could also put it in your calculator as 2 times 2 times 3. This, my friends, is my greatest common factor. So by using my grid method, I know that the greatest common factor of 12 and 24 is 12.